Hi Virgo, what's up? All right, so this is Opulent Spiritual, another reading. I hope you guys are doing really good. Let's see what's happening for you for May 2024. And if you like what I do and you want to support me, subscribe to my channel and give me a like. And yeah, duh. All right, let's see. I love this cup. It's so beautiful. I'm hearing beauty is in the eye of the beholder. Oh, wow. This That was like really exciting. You have exciting news happening. It like exploded here. Very exciting news. Wow. And look, you're going to be so happy here. Like tears of joy, baby. That's what I like to see. Because I feel like a lot of you have been having a hard time. All right. So let's see. Very exciting news. Wow. All right. Hold on. Let me look on the outside. Um, yeah, there was like a lot of stormy energy here. So I don't know if you were like living in an area with like a lot of storms, but like weather, like weather stuff here. You know, <clears throat> it could have been a stormy time for you as well in, like, in your life. But you're very happy. Look at this. Super happy here. Wow. Very something very exciting is happening here. A lot of you could be finding out that you're uh, pregnant or something. You're getting like exciting news. You're either giving exciting news or you're receiving exciting news. I'm seeing a contract here. Wow. So maybe you're buying a home like finally or signing off on something. And I, also I'm getting like paperwork for like adoption or something. It, it could be that. Maybe you're adopting a pet or a person or you know what I mean? You're becoming a parent. Wow, this is so beautiful. So right away I'm seeing letter J here and I'm seeing a pin cushion here. So something uh, like a new job or a raise is happening for you here. Uh, very nice. And I'm seeing Chinese ear of the dog at the bottom. Like definitely 100%. So this could be someone helping you, someone coming into your life, a, a new friend, or a person that is very reliable, very trustworthy here. They could have Scorpio placements, doesn't have to, but yes, yeah, is someone that's very loving here. They could be in Aries as well. I'm seeing Aries there. Um, yeah, very beautiful here. Wow, new job or raise right away. Big communication, like whatever's happening in the beginning of the month, it's connected to the end of the month as well. So a lot of deals, maybe you're um, in real estate or something and you're gonna be selling a lot of homes this month. There's something that's, uh, I'm, he I'm hearing very applicable. So very nice here. And don't, buy, don't mind the noise, I have to change my fire alarm. I just didn't get a chance to do that because I have to get the ladder and stuff because my thing is all the way up, so. Sorry if it's, you know, a little bit annoying, but I can't do anything with it. All right, I'm seeing a, a bell here. This is like a big announcement, like I said, and it's very exciting. Big announcement happening here. Um, Chinese Year of the Rooster is here. I'm also seeing a bell. Um, not, uh, sorry, a bell's here, but like a bell flower is, is here too. So it's like wedding bells here. Chinese Year of the Rat, Chinese Year of the Pig. Um, yeah, Leo. Maybe you're getting married in the summer. Wow, and it's like wedding bell flowers. So beautiful, like, <laughs> you're getting married, bro. Like, wait, dad, bro. Yeah, that's so cute. Like, maybe that's why you're excited because you're getting proposed to and, you, and you're like, oh my gosh, I'm getting married. Like, wow, this is so nice. I'm getting goosebumps, bro. Like, this is so cute. Like, I'm so happy for you. I love you guys. All right, Chinese year of the cat is here. And it's so cute. So you have a, a finger here and it's pointing down and it's warning you of a problem either now or in the very near future about work, work. There's a beehive here. Something with work is changing or you're overworked or you need to change some kind of plan with your job because it's not working out. You're working too hard or you're taking too much of the, the burdens that's changing, that needs to change here. Yeah, that's changing here. Two aspects of your life is changing this month. And it's got letter S, letter J, 57 is here as well, 32. And microbe, I'm hearing, microbe. And Chinese year of the dog is here as well. It's very light though, so it's a spirit. So if you had a pet that passed away, especially a dog recently, they're with you and they're still near. They're still near you because you haven't let them go yet. So in order for them to move on and pass on uh, completely, 
you have to grieve this and let them go because it's like you're holding on to them not in a bad way i know it's very sad and it's hard but they're not they're not able to rest because they're worried about you you know what i mean that they, they can't move on because they love you and they're worried about you that's why they're still here they're lingering uh number one is here chinese year of the rat capricorn energy here and yeah you need to you need to let go and you need to grieve and i'm also seeing a letter z here and uh the i there's an i here so you're being watched you have uh maybe evil eye on you i can check with the cards in a second but um something with evil eye here are is uh virgo protected from this or is this being put on them knight of cups the queen of wands ooh and strength no you're protected from this especially if you have fire placements and look look what's look with this look at this sorry <laughs> uh three of swords and the page of coins um i could tell that you were dealing with a lot of sadness and stuff like that but there could be another earth sign coming in to help you or this is you you know just fixing things in your life like um because i'm hearing reliving the past and you and you don't want to do that again you don't want to relive the past so you're releasing yourself from that. There's a uh, clearing here um, towards the, still this is the beginning of the month, but it's going towards the middle. There's a big opening here, big clearing, Chinese ear of the dog. So definitely someone could be coming in to help you. This could be a friend, a new friend or someone that you haven't seen in a while. And there's a giraffe here, like a giant giraffe. So it's about seeing something at a different perspective, a higher perspective here. You're getting enlightenment about something and I'm seeing letter O is here at the bottom of all this chaos. So the O can represent a completion of a cycle, Chinese year of the snake, healing and love and in your your actual body, right? But this, all, this O can also represent someone that is not around anymore, that's not in your life anymore. Like either physically not in your life or I want to say virtually as well. So I don't know. Maybe you block this person out as well. Letter D. And um, wow, there's definitely a fire sign here that's like keeping tabs on you or that you're interested in. I'm seeing the golden, the golden finch here, like the golden uh, snitch, you know, from Harry Potter. You're catching that. So there's like a rare opportunity for you, just for you this month and it's very important that you catch it because it's like once in a lifetime it doesn't happen and you're feeling like sad over here about something and i'm seeing you going into nature you're really um really just sad here depressed about something you're having a hard time seeing this abundance around you like you you're just dwelling in the past too much that you need to release that and let it go aries here especially aries um april was really hard on you something about april here was very hard on you like you could have been feeling very lonely and just alone a lot in that month but spirit's saying like you know we never left your side we're still here and you need to get out of this funk you know what i mean because you have beautiful things happening like all over the place but you know it depends what's in your chart and what's happening for you you know what i mean Let's see, letter A, letter H. New beginning here, brand new beginning here. Number nine, year of the monkey, Virgo as well, that's you. Um, yeah, there's something with like aerobics here, working out, um, especially not weight, but like aerobics, like that 80s shit, you know what I mean? Like, you know, like with others. So maybe you're joining a class and it's making you feel happy, you know, because you're like losing weight with like other people and you guys are like doing this together and yeah look at this path brand new path for you beautiful it's light and there's a sunrise with it and it's kind of giving me the vibe of like the wizard of oz type of thing like the emerald city so it's very rare opportunity very rare path here cancer the crab is here so it could be connected to cancer season more or the, your or this uh cancer cancer energy is helping you or opening up this path with you or you're connecting to that. It's connected to this path. Very beautiful. Letter F. Love that shit for you. So nice. Chinese year of the dog. 
And then again, it's that communication. And for some reason, you have a number two here. So Chinese year of the ox, Aquarius here. Something within Aquarius. Or feeling in the Aquarius vibes, which is community, you know, others, the people here. Maybe you're feeling liberated. And I'm, I'm seeing people with like signs, holding signs and stuff like that. So it could be some kind of march that you're going on and supporting like your community or... Um, like others, you know what I mean? Uh, a march for peace, a march for something you believe in, and you're like marching with others. And I'm seeing 30 here, three and zero. So the 30th, the very last day of the, of the month could be very significant for this ending here. And number eight is over here as well, um, year of the goat. Leo, energy, very exciting. So there is a seahorse here. So you could be dealing with a water sign. This could be someone in your family. Uh, this is like a baby seahorse. So it could be someone that's younger than you. Um, there's something with that here. Balancing the light and dark side of yourself. This is especially has to do with your inner child. Um, that's why you have a lot of traumas and stuff like that. And you can't let go because it's connected to your your past self, your your young self. And something about, I was going to say this week, something about this week, you're going to feel very in tuned with that. But this month is going to bring you healing and number three is above its head. So something could have been connected to March here, Pisces or Year of the Tiger. And your friends could be helping you or helping you heal through this situation as well within yourself. Like healing the inner child is going to be very big for you this month. One, three, and five is significant. January, March, and Taurus, which is May. And there's an hourglass here, so it's like time is of the essence here. Something is in divine timing. It's going to be shown to you this month. And again, this eye is here. So you are being watched like online or you have an online presence here. Something could be changing with that as well. Let's get for Virgo for May. Oh, something sudden, unexpected here is happening. Okay. Bird perch, waiting for news package or letter. Oh, very interesting here. This is what you don't see coming. It's not flipped. So let's see what you do know and what's happening right now. Lion, you could be dealing with a Leo or you have Leo placements. Time to act. You will receive a gift. It's time to act now because you're going to be receiving a gift, like I said, like the golden snitch. Um, someone could also be snitching on you as well. And they're getting their karma. Sorrow over loss. Maybe this is like a funeral or something like that that you're attending. Uh, something, maybe this is like a passing or a loss in general. Shark, take care. There are, there will be a loss of material wealth. So be careful of that. But I see you receiving a gift here in July. Yeah, exactly. I told you July is very significant for you. An exciting event is happening. Parrot, someone will gossip about all your secrets. In March, that's when this happened. In March, you had a lot of conniving shit going on here. You weren't doing so good. But yeah, look at this. Wow. Okay. Angel, maybe you were doing some kind of candle magic, but your angels have always been with you. Okay. Spiritual guidance, protection from harm. A wish will be granted this month. Yeah, it says control your anger. You will be sorry with the lightning hair and woman. Dealing a relationship with a woman. This, this is somebody that might have been gossiping about you. Or this is someone that's coming in to help you here. Or, they're, or you're going to be receiving a gift from this person. Okay, so what you don't see coming here is the dragon. Chinese year of the dragon, which is right now, which represents Taurus. Beware of self-delusion. So something could have been definitely hidden from you, and now it's going to be revealed. Or you're going to get a get a, a get a big kick in your ass, and you're going to be like, "All right, now I know what to do." Now, so that's all I have for you. Thank you so much. I hope you enjoyed this read. Oh wait, hold up, I got to get time for you. Yeah, you don't even care about this shit. You you just now you want to go now. You want to go grab your coffee or something because you're like, I got to get back to work. Because <laughs> you guys are always working. You are could be significant yourself yeah you're being shown the way in some kind of situation here 
definitely during a uh, Pisces season, something happened, or you're dealing with a Pisces, Scorpio, or any water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, secrets being revealed to you. You're getting out of a cycle here, and I'm hearing getting out of debt, e.g. Oh, you're balancing your light and dark side here. Beautiful. And you're taking control of your life with the wheel. Yeah, and, and it's you. You could be dealing with another Virgo here. But you're definitely, this is all about you. Yeah, you, you're protected here, which is really nice. Spirits have, spirit has always been with you, protecting you. Yeah, again, something is um, becoming one here, like union. You could be going shopping, number five, maybe the fifth of the month could be significant, or tourist season, right? And a uh, change. As you're changing your wardrobe, you're changing your outlook. Something's changing here. Yeah, you're changing your perception on something here. Letter S. Um, I, 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 I said I heard senile in my head. Uh, yeah, because maybe you just weren't really seeing something here. Or you're forgetting. Yeah, something very exciting is happening. You don't know what's about to happen. It's like the gumball. Like something very exciting here. Yeah, and you're rising to the challenge here. There's a brand new beginning and you're healing through something here. And it just took a long time. That's all. It just took a long time, but now it's here. And a secret's being revealed. Or one of your secrets is being revealed. So be careful who you trust. But anyways, thank you so much. I hope you enjoy this month. And I'll see you in the next one. Namaste. Love and light.